Hey USC, welcome to the buzz on Talk of the Town. I'm Corey Michael Peeler. And I'm Elena Barilla. Let's get started. So last night was the Bachelor in Paradise finale and a few couples actually made it out alive, which is shocking, but we'll see how long they last. <laughs> Not hating on the show, but I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest. So um, at the end, Lacey and Daniel went to the fantasy suite and decided that they were going to stay together and be in a committed relationship. Um, didn't last. Then um, Raven and Adam went to the Bachelor in Paradise fantasy suite as well, and they ended up working out at the um, after the final rose type thing. They're working out, they're fine. Then Taylor and Derek, who were together from day one in Paradise, ended up getting engaged at the final episode. So it was really, really cool. Um, and also they announced the new Bachelor for the next season on Good Morning America this past week. For those of you that didn't see the tweet going around on Twitter, there was this tweet and someone quoted the tweet um, for the announcement of the new Bachelor for next season. And it said he looked like, what was it, a... The Bachelor fans were hoping that Peter from Rachel season would be picked, um, but he was not. They ended yeah. up picking a, what Twitter fans are calling a knockoff version of Peter. It ended up being Ari from Emily Maynard season back in 2012. So people are not happy about that. Moving on, in other news, if you haven't heard, the new film adaptation for the Stephen King novel It opened in theaters last Friday, September 8th, and it opened to $123 million uh, the first opening weekend, which is insanely high. It's yeah. the highest opening weekend for a horror movie ever. So a lot of people love to scare the crap out of themselves. Basically. I'm not a fan, but okay. <laughs> Also, it was the second highest opening for a rated R movie, the first one being Deadpool, starring Ryan Reynolds. Right. And then it's the third largest opening weekend of 2017 after Beauty and the Beast and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yep. So if you haven't seen it, be sure to see it because it really does stay true to the novel. And Did you go see it? I did go see it. I did see it on Friday, the opening day. I did not. I meant to go see it um, because in my head I was like, okay, clowns. I'm not really that scared of clowns. But when it came to seeing Annabelle over the summer, I was like, oh, hell no. Little freaky little girls? No way. But clowns are all right for me. So I should definitely go see it. <laughs> Okay, um, moving on. Um, these last few weeks, our country has been experiencing um, a few natural disasters, including Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma, which um, actually touched South Carolina a little bit too. Um, but there were a few celebrities that um, showed their support for the victims of these hurricanes, including a $1 million donation made by Leonardo DiCaprio. I love him. How do you not love Leo? Um, a $1 million donation made by Sandra Bullock, um, a $500,000 donation made by the Kardashian and the Jenner family, so they are good people. Um, and then J.J. Watt, actually. You could tell them about that. Yeah, J.J. Watt, actually, he just didn't give his own money outright to the Hurricane Relief Fund. He, like, encouraged his fans to raise money for this, like, like these two disasters, and I think he actually raised just about $30 million, so that's... That's insane. Yeah, that's very admirable, so... Yeah. Go J.J. Watt. <laughs> and also, Beyonce was seen um, helping out there, too, roughing it a little bit, giving out water bottles. Um, and Melania Trump boarded Air Force One to go help the Harvey efforts. In and her high heels. In her stilettos. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it ended up being um, claimed fake news, shock, but because she boarded the plane on stilettos, but she got off of the plane in sneakers. So people were making a big deal about the stilettos thing. But. I wish to be this classy one day. <laughs> I don't know if it's classy or if it's petty. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's both. So we'll see. Yep, and in other news, Miss America was crowned this week. The winner was Miss North Dakota, Kara Mund. Um, but there was an interesting um, questionnaire thing that happened. Um, I don't know much about it, so you can explain that. Yeah, first we're going to play a clip for you, so here it is. Neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and the KKK in Charlottesville, Virginia, turned violent and a counter-protester was killed. The president said there was shared blame with, quote, very fine people on both sides. Were there? The white supremacist issue, it was very obvious that it was a terrorist attack. And I think that President Donald Trump should have made a statement earlier addressing the fact and making sure all Americans feel safe in this country. That is the number one issue right now. So as you can see, uh, one of the judges on the panel asked Miss Texas a question regarding the Charlottesville incident and how President Donald Trump handled it. And she 
answered the question like just like that. There was no hesitation. And what she basically said was that Donald Trump should have addressed the situation much sooner than he did. And that... She received a lot of support on Twitter too. Yeah. So yeah, she pretty much slayed that question. <laughs> That's all we have for you this week on The Buzz. I'm Elena Barilla. And I'm Corey Michael Peeler. Make sure to follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>